Greetings and salutations, you two wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Metropolis in the month of October the uh, month of October the first. Wow, <laughs> October the first, 2018, in the city of Metropolis. So, what has changed in the month? Uh, as you can see, we have 81 million dollars in reserves due to the overwhelming greatness of our economy. At one point, it was doing excellent, and my mayor score was like above 1500. Uh, but it kind of fell back down because of unemployment, and I built up a factory, so it's kind of been solved a little bit. Um, over that time, I kind of accepted a couple of things. With uh, there was a sports drink company or something that uh, bought a piece of like one of our lakes in Acacia Grove or something, and then we were also uh, we we put up some more housing. Um, they offered like, we had to pay like two million dollars for suburban development or something. But this month, I think I have quite a few things planned. I want to, um, I definitely want to, I guess, upgrade the Expo Center. Um, I want to upgrade the Expo Center. I want to put up a school, and I think I will also then, uh, on which policies will you begin fighting the next election? Uh, focus on jobs and housing. I mean, that's, that's my big thing. So, let's see. I think I want to do the Expo Center. The, I think I might do the theater as well. I haven't checked, uh, actually the, uh the finances for this month at all let's see so so far it seems like we have a, actually a monthly this is still from last month isn't it as i say it still seems like it's from last month because it says a monthly profit is 66 million so i'm not exactly sure what's going on there we got miscellaneous income 130 million i guess that was uh from all the since we got our population up to like 40 well it's 48,000 now but we got money for that then we got money for interest payments for the economy and all that so let me go ahead and upgrade the Expo Center, though. Uh, do that. And I also want to upgrade the Empire Theater. I think I will go ahead and put up the school. Okay, the accounts for last month have been completed. Now I get to see this. It's still the same. It didn't change at all. Okay. Well, I put that there. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I want to place the school at this point. Where do I want to put this school? I think I want to put it over here near the condo areas. I think that might be a good place for it. We're going to go ahead and put up an elementary school. Worst case scenario, if we run, it, uh, run into any issues, we can sell it off. Um, but I don't think we should be in any trouble with that. I think just to be safe, I want to go ahead and put up another factory or something of that nature. I'm trying to think. Our industrial area is kind of back this way. I'm thinking. I could put up H2O treatment plant recycling. Let's put up a recycling, uh, recycling center because people have been complaining about the environment and all that stuff. Let's do that. Recycling center. Like I said, once again, worst case scenario, we could sell it off if we need to. Uh, so that brings us to $32 million. I don't know if that actually brought us any... Okay, it did bring us some jobs. So we may be fine for a minute because I was going to say I may actually do the upgrade to the city stadium. Because, I mean, ah, it's, it's, it's such a big investment that it really makes you think about it. And it's like, I could do, uh, I could also do the plaza, which also needs upgrading too. So it's like, I don't know. I think, hold on, why is it not letting, oh, it's because it's sped up again. This is $8 million in, compar in comparison to like $25 million. But, I mean, in need of retail therapy. To be honest, we're trying to increase tourism with the upgrade of the Expo Center, uh, the Expo Hall. So I think I may as well go ahead and do the terminal. Uh, not the terminal, I'm sorry. No, definitely not the terminal. We already did that one. We're going to get City Stadium upgraded. This was my downfall last time, but we're going to do it, all right? Worst case scenario, we'll have to sell off some stuff. But my mayor score did just jump to 1,700. I am a little bit concerned by the fact that the economy is only good now, considering we've now done these upgrades to the stadium, the theater, and the expo hall in one month. I really don't think that my approval rating should be falling at this point. I'm really, I don't understand that. But let's go ahead and see what else we can do. There were a couple more things that I had in mind for this month as well. Um, I wanted to do, let's see, it's in, I think it was the policy decisions. Um, I want to do, it wasn't in law enforcement. I can't even remember what it was now. Let's do, where the frick is it? I'm trying to find out what it was. It was, oh, it was in the transport department. I actually wanted to set up the, uh, the bus system. That would be there. We can do basic bus service. Um, let's do, a, let's do basic bus service. 
just to start out for this month we'll do basic bus service that brings us down to uh three million dollars i'm talking about my ethics is under scrutiny listen the only thing that i've ever really accepted was people coming to build housing and people coming to take water from our lake which hasn't really done anything bad for us it actually gave us like nine million dollars so i don't think it was that bad of an idea now let's see i think i want to go back in here and uh try and decrease the class sizes again because we're definitely running uh run a little bit too high 25 so we'll go ahead and do let's see educational consultants class sizes administration administration doesn't really help with the class size but we'll hire more uh we'll go ahead and get some more teachers aides in there as well and then we'll hire some more teachers there you go bring the class sizes down to 19 all right and then we'll also hire some more uh some more nurses to help try and bring down the waiting list here and then we'll hire like maybe five more doctors all right auxiliary special uh that helps a little bit all right there you go these are at the lowest numbers that they've ever been so people are not pleased listen i can't help you at this point <laughs> i cannot help you i think crime has been doing okay too uh last month we had 41 instances of crime uh, compared to the historical monthly crime total 68 so i mean wasn't that bad i think i want to also get some more police officers in here we'll do 25 and then we'll do we'll buy three more cop cars there you go i think that's about all i'm going to be able to do for this month so at least for right now i just did all that in the first of the month though so <laughs> we're going to be in a rough spot uh for the rest of the month it seems like i mean i could go into overdraft but i don't really want to um I'm hoping that the economy will pick back up, but right now it's just kind of meh, you know. I guess good is okay, but it, I guess it could be better at this point. 334 days to go to the election. My mayor score has now jumped to 1950, but my popularity isn't really getting any better. And I don't understand that. Uh, you would think that if, if, my, if my mayor score is going up, then my popularity would also increase as well. Need to put a stop to the floor right. Listen. If I get an offer to accept some goddamn refugees into this place, I will do it. And I will not second guess it. At all. <laughs> I will not second guess it. Many benefits to transport. Uh, oh, there was one more thing I needed to do. Hold on. It was in, I think it was in, was it policies? Yeah, the policy department. They were talking about how our recovery is being slowed by the lack of internet. So I want to uh, do high speed internet. All right. Now that that's there, I don't know how long it's going to take for that to really uh, do anything at all. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now also, the stock market is doing quite well, it seems like. Um, I remember when these shares were at like a dollar and something. So I was thinking maybe we could sell off soon. But I mean, if the economy starts to pick back up, then there really is no reason for me to sell. I may as well just keep it. I kind of wish, though, that I had bought more when it was lower because now I only have 100,000 shares. So, yeah. Analysts predict economy growth. Well, I'm happy about that. I'm still trying to figure out like what levels will people be happy with in terms of education and and health. Because at one point I kind of had them happy with it, but you know they just maybe I, maybe it might be the welfare. I don't know. Let's see, health and welfare, health care, basic health care for all residents, health insurance, state belt, uh, state based health insurance, uh, health screening program, legalized marijuana counseling services let's try um let's try the health screening program right now it's a little bit cheaper you know it's a little bit cheaper so we're gonna try that for now free travel zone free public no we can't we can't afford that right now park and ride facility reduces traffic into the city I'm trying to see some more policies that i could afford to do at this point i think we definitely got to do some more environmental stuff though let's do the recycle plastic we got energy efficiency program waste management that's 156k um environmental education let's do environmental education in the zero litter program all right i guess we'll have to see how how good that does my major score is now up to 1955 there's dogs barking in the background crime levels mirror the national average that's good that means that we're we're on par with everybody else even though our city is kind of trash at the moment I'm hoping that maybe we can start actually getting some uh, some events in for the um, for the city stadium. That'd be nice if we could host like 
I don't know, like the World Cup or something. That would be cool. I just really wish my approval rating would go up now. It seems like we're we're doing pretty well. Uh, the power freaking levels are really low, even though the economy is kind of fell off a little bit. It was worth. It seems like it was worth more, even when uh even when the economy was doing better. So I don't even know how that happened. Breaking monkeys freed in daring raid. Where are we freeing these monkeys from, and why? Residents say pollution is not a major problem. That's the thing I don't understand because when you look at it, it's not a major problem. But look at the look at the face. They're not happy about it. So I really need them to make up their mind. <laughs> I really need them to uh, make it up there. We're now to 1977. There was something I wanted to do. I don't. I just then. I don't know what it was that I was thinking about doing. Frick. Was it another policy that I was thinking about doing? Traffic camera. Narcotics division, stop and search, no, community policing. Ah, there was something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll come to me eventually. Dim Lips plan for community initiatives. Listen, I could do that too, alright? It's not specifically to you guys at all. Analysts predict economy. Listen, I need that growth to happen. I need it to happen now. Matter of fact, I could really use some more interest payments. <laughs> could really use some of those, but, uh... I'm trying to, let's see, how much is this, uh... Recycling center worth 9.9 .9 mil. I can't remember how much I built that for probably a good bit. How are we looking on unemployment right now? We still have uh, 1500 jobs available, so that's good. We're still fine there. Don't have to worry about that just yet I'm still trying to figure out how I can cut down on pollution man. I don't really know what the what the move is there um basketball court street soccer court you know, we've had those, and we usually sell them off because we need money. I was trying to see if there was another small upgrade that I could possibly do without putting this too far down. I think, uh, let's see, economy outlook is very good. Um, multi-story car park. Uh, tax department, wait, what? Tax department officials have indicated that a focus on collecting unpaid personal tax would bring us, uh, $3.9 million. Listen, Uncle Sam needs his money, all right? I need the money. Journalist questions, uh, Mayor Ethics, listen, I'm fine, I'm sound, alright, I'm very sound. I think I may go into the hole to actually upgrade the Pacific Plaza, because I think with the increased tourism and everything, maybe this would help. We're now negative a million dollars in. Alright, I mean, with all this stuff, like, come on, people, you have to be happy. You have to be pleased. What, What is wrong? The economy is doing well, everybody has a job. Uh, listen, I know the pollution isn't the greatest, but I, uh, eventually, eventually I'll solve this. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and enact another policy. We'll do the uh, e-waste disposal. We'll try that as well. We're now putting our policy uh, total policy cost up to almost 1.5 million. I may as well make it 1.5 million. Let's do citywide Wi-Fi. All right, there you go. Now it's 1.6 million, so technically that's a lot more than what I intended, but uh, I have to do. Drug dealer reported in Edmonton. Listen, Ed, people in Edmonton, come on. We don't. We can't have drugs on our streets. We can't. This is why I won't legalize marijuana. <laughs> this is why I'm not doing it. Residents unconcerned about tax levels. I'm glad to hear that. The mayor score has uh, increased to 2,035. All right, not bad. Assault reported at the Docklands. We really gotta get some. Uh, I get some more cops over in the Docklands, man. It, it's just, everything's hitting the fan down there. And there's nothing really there, and I guess that's maybe why. Because there's really nobody to stop them there. There aren't any uh, houses or businesses there or people to really look out. So that's where all the drug deals go down. Commerce chiefs are happy with the economy. I wish everybody else was happy with the economy. <laughs> I really wish they were. Vitamins contribute to a healthy life. Well, everybody can buy their own vitamins. <laughs> Have fun with those. 20 pupils per uh, 20 pupils per class. Why not some new development? Like there's nothing, nothing really happening right now, at all. That's an auto save there. Mayor score is 2036. Oh, thank goodness, we got 30 million dollars for our uh, population exceeding 50,000 people. That's great. Uh, we still have an uh, additional surplus of 1,300 jobs. So now that I have that in place, I'm thinking. With 28 million dollars, we've upgraded the majority of our things here. My approval rating did just go back up to 38%. Uh, percent. 
It's worth remembering that we have a uh, bank overdraft limit of 60 million. Listen, I'm not even in the hole anymore. You don't need to talk to me about an overdraft here. Um, its architectural masterpiece has been the heartbeat of our city for many years. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. What should the move be? The economy is now very good. I was thinking I could start building up some more stuff over here uh, near the beach, but I don't really know. Hotel, I don't want to spend $28 million on a hotel, but we don't have one. Well, we do. We have the old hotel. Did I ever upgrade that, by the way? If I can, I may upgrade that instead of building a new one. I think I have done that upgrade, though, if I'm not mistaken. I can't even remember where it is now. It's somewhere over here, isn't it? It's like in the middle here. That's the Santa Monica Gallery, the Grand Hotel. There it is. Um, I have not, so let's go ahead and do that upgrade. Six million dollars to upgrade the Grand Hotel. The city's most famous and seemingly only hotel. <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. I must say that since I have taken the, I guess, somewhat slow and steady approach, things have gotten a little bit easier. <laughs> and I haven't been fired, and I've made it in a couple months now at this point, so... I like what's happening. Been a total of 12 cri incidents of crime. To be honest... Crime seemingly, uh, Rogers, current mayor's exact. Listen, that's your freaking opinion, all right? <laughs> that is your opinion. I would like to say otherwise, all right? I think I've done well. And considering that you're not beating me so far, you can't talk trash at this point. Because if I was such a disaster, then you would be polling higher than me. I do fear that I'm going to lose the election, though. <laughs> City Stadium Mini. I just upgraded City Stadium. It doesn't need another upgrade. Residents are urged to reuse uh, water bottles. Speaking of that, since I had that policy decision, let's go ahead and do the uh, bottle return scheme. Or Yeah, let's do the bottle return scheme. We're trying to help out the environment. Seems like everything that I'm doing, though, isn't really helping. But I guess maybe it might take into effect next month, hopefully. Citizens are happy over the job bonanza. I do have this recycling facility. Uh, it's currently valued at $10 million. So it did increase by like 200 k in terms of total value. Uh, H2O treatment plant, solar farm, um, something. We definitely, I wonder if we could actually, like, get rid, I think we can. I was gonna say, I wonder if we could actually get rid of some of the, uh, factories and things and then switch to, like, clean energy. I think we, no, we can't, I don't think we can get rid of them now, but we can stop. Uh, City Gallery, uh, Santa Monica Gallery could use with enough refresh. How much was that again? $12 million? I may actually do that, to be honest. How are we looking on jobs? Still a thousand. I could, I could afford to upgrade the gallery and possibly put up like a warehouse or something. So I think I will do that. Uh, get that out of here. Where's the gallery again? <laughs> I always forget. Let me. Okay, I gotta slow this down. That's the gallery. Twelve million dollars I'm putting into the gallery. Don't know why my mayor score is falling again. People are happy with jobs. Pollution is still an issue. Leisure is okay. Environment, eh. Taxes, meh. Education, meh. We only have one freaking school at this point. <laughs> it's all we freaking have. I wonder how much that's about. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, $10.1 million currently. Mm, I don't think I need to sell it off right now. I said I was going to do the upgrade to the gallery and I was going to do something else. Oh, I said I could afford to do a warehouse or something. $9 million on an industrial park. Um... I don't know. Do I need to do that right now? I don't think I do. I'm going to hold off for a little bit. I think I may, if I can, I may build up a car park. Because we don't have a lot of those. Well, we do, but we, like, I think it says it uh, helps, uh, it brings in a steady source of income and it helps cut down on traffic. But I don't remember exactly where I can build those. My mayor score is back up to 2036. We don't have a hospital yet. We can't afford one either. I put up a golf course. I'm trying to see where I could build one of these. It might have to be in a small uh, location like this, maybe. Uh, Multi-level. That costs $14 million? Really? I don't know if I want to uh, make that investment there. I thought it would be like 4 or $5 million. I didn't expect it to be that much. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'd rather do the freaking golf course than do that. Matter of fact, could we put a golf course over by the beach? Because that would be kind of nice, right? Maybe? Possibly? Or not. <laughs> that would help with the leisure. Uh, it doesn't seem like we can at all. There's, we could put a swimming pool. Why would I put a swimming pool next to the beach? It doesn't really make sense at all. 
doesn't make sense at all. Shopping center. I don't. I guess I can't put a golf course over there. A golf course by the airport wouldn't make sense at all. So <laughs> that isn't. That wouldn't be worth my time. I can't really afford to do too much right now. Like economy, consumer spending is healthy. That's good. The freaking power levels are at all time lows in terms of pricing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell off some of it though, just to make us a little bit of money, I guess. At this point, go ahead and sell off some of this water as well. So so far we've had 14 incidents of crime. 35 uh, residents on the waiting list. We're almost nine and a half million dollars. All right. I could use some more interest payments. I'll probably get some more soon. Maybe like halfway through the month or something, I hope. I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one. And it will be the month of November.